a really, really nice and easy way to kind of control how oily you look without, with still giving, look at that beautiful dew and that really healthy sheen to the face. And it's not like this area is looking super flat. <laughs> Hi you guys, welcome back to the Clean Beauty Code. I'm so excited for this video because we're doing the look on my face today. And this is my kind of glowy makeup look without looking oily or greasy. And these steps can be applied to any kind of makeup routine, but it makes your makeup, first of all, not look super heavy on the skin, but because I, I don't like when makeup looks super apparent on the skin, even though of course no one has a natural smoky eye. So it does look like I'm wearing makeup right now but it doesn't look super, super intense or, or super powdery or anything on the face. But also it is so oil controlled that by the end of the day, my makeup is still completely on, blush is still on, everything is still on. And I don't look like I was by the fish fryer, right? Like we weren't just making french fries, right? We look really, really good throughout the day. And especially in summer, I feel like Glowy makeup looks are just what people love, but also they don't wanna look super, super greasy or oily. And these kind of products and steps are the way to do that. And I love it. Even for a less involved makeup look, these steps are perfect. So I just kind of wanna jump into this video and get started, but I would love to know down below, what are your kind of tips for um, like, controlling oil, not looking greasy throughout the day, even if it's not with a glowy makeup look, and kind of what products do you like to use? Let me know down below, because I'd love to hear from you guys. And yeah, I just wanna jump into this video and get started. So if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. And let's get into this video about how to get a glowy makeup look without looking oily or greasy. How to get glowy makeup without looking oily or greasy, I swear by this routine. Even if you're not doing a glowy makeup base, if you struggle with your T-zone or any other part of your face looking super, super oily after a certain amount of time, this routine is gonna be a lifesaver. I love this in summer, but just year round, especially just right here. Sometimes we're looking like we're in a fish fry, okay? And this routine saves my life. So let's get into it. The first thing we're gonna do is, is our brows and I'm gonna do the Tude Brow Soap. I love this stuff. And this, this one tin, will last you a lifetime because so little of this goes a long way. So I'm gonna just take a spoolie here and get it wet. I'm just gonna spray it with a little bit of water. So I'm gonna spray it. And then you just kind of dig into the brow soap and just go like this. And then put your brow hairs up and they last all day, like it holds all day. It's so good. Right, we are all gelled. My brows are looking a little Oscar the Grouchy. So we need to get them done this weekend because it's been a little bit. Now I'm gonna fill them in with this brow pencil from Westman Atelier. This one just lasts really long actually on my brows, but also this container lasted me. This is a newer one. This entire stick lasted me a year. So love that. So it is expensive. It's like $38, but for how long it lasted me, it's actually cheaper than getting a new brow pencil constantly, if that makes sense. So we're just gonna fill it in really lightly. My brows are really, really dark naturally. So I don't wanna get them too, too pigmented, but I do wanna fill in scars and any kind of sparseness at the end. Brows are filled in, they're looking mediocre at best, but you know what? I couldn't be bothered today, so we're moving on. Next, we're going with setting spray. Now, I know this feels really, I feel like this order of doing makeup feels kind of weird, but I swear by doing this to really, really control your oil. And the LYS Beauty Setting Spray is just so good. So shake it up and just spray your face. Now, I, I swear by this step, this is just so good for controlling oil, but also making makeup last longer because summertime is just like a greasy time for most people. So this controls oil, especially the setting spray. It just really does such a good job, but it also makes my makeup last longer, if that makes sense. So it's like the perfect next step. So this is drying down. This dries down really, really quickly, which is nice. Now we're gonna move on to our glowy base product and we're gonna go 
on with one of these. So these are the um, Westman Atelier. They're illuminating drops. I have two shades. I have Pot de Peche and Pot de Soleil. And then this is the First Aid Beauty, their kind of version of a glow drop. This is beautiful. And I've, I've reviewed this in a video. This is so beautiful. I really, really like this. So I think we're gonna go on with this one today just cause it's a little bit more bronze and then the other two. And actually I'm gonna shake this up first. This is really, really pretty. Actually, maybe I'll do a combo of the two. Maybe that's a little crazy. So this is the First Aid Beauty one. It is so, so pretty. And I think I'm gonna do a mix with Pot de Peche, which is the lighter shade of the Westman Atelier, cause why not? I do like these two together. I'm doing less of the Westman Atelier. And we're just gonna mix these two together and then apply them to the face. So this is what they look like mixed together, still super bronzy, um, but just with a little bit more of a peachy tone. And we're just gonna apply it directly to the face. Now, you can only do it on the cheeks if you want, depending on like what your preference is. I'm just gonna do it all over the face because I really like the kind of finish of this and the bronziness that this gives, but that might not be for everyone. So you kind of decide what you prefer, but I really like to put it all over the face. I just love the glow that that gives my face. I mean, just look at that. It's just, it makes your skin look so healthy and youthful, but it doesn't make you look like a glittery disco ball because both of these have a luminosity to them and not like a glittery finish to them. They're just so beautiful. I mean, there's so many products out there that say, there's so many great ones out there that you can use that give you such a beautiful, perfect, just healthy looking finish. And I love these a lot. So the next step in this is I'm going to do a little bit of oil control. Now, depending on where you get dewy, put this where you get dewy, but this is the nude stick um, blot and blur. I swear by this, this is really nice. Now this actually recently got a little bit melty in my bag. So it's a little bit kind of, kind of falling apart -y, but I'm just gonna place this right where I need it. Do you see how it's kind of coming all over my face because I let it get really melty. Don't do that. But also you can just take your finger and just place it, but I like to do it like this because I need a lot of product anyways, just in my T-zone. And then, see, this is how you can do that. And then just put it where you need. You see how that just already controls the oil and the dewiness? I mean, let's do, here's a good example. Look at how that just tones down the oiliness. So I like to put it in my T-zone because that's where I am an oil slick. And I like to get a good amount of product and just really dab it in. Gotta get the stash, gotta get the stash. This product is just so great at really controlling your oil. So this is just a must in summer, but also just for like event makeup and stuff. I really love something like this. Um, you can also just go with a powder first. I know not a lot of people like to go with powder first, but that is also a way to kind of control how oily your skin is before you go on with anything else. So what I'm gonna do is I'm like, let this sit for a second before I go on with a complexion product. I normally don't always go on with another complexion product, but we're here, we're filming. I might as well show you what it looks like with a complexion product. So I'm gonna let this sit down for about a minute and then we're gonna move on to complexion products. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, it's been about a minute. So now we're gonna move on to a complexion product and I'm gonna go on with one of these two. This is the CL, their Tint and Protect. And this one is from Iris and Romeo and this is their Best Skin Days. And both of these have an SPF in them and I really like them. Um, Hmm. I might go with the CL one for today. I wear the shade eight in this, yeah, medium honey. We're gonna just do a little bit, not a lot. Um, we're gonna just do a few drops. I'm gonna just put it on the back of my hand. It's about two and a half drops. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this um, makeup brush here and just get it all in the makeup brush and then just apply it all over the face lightly. 
Now we are going to move on to a bronzer. And I think I'm gonna go with this one from TL because it has more of a natural finish. Um, this one is really, really beautiful. If you also want an alternative to this one, I would say the Westman Atelier one is one that has a kind of a similar finish and vibe to the CL one. And in that one, I wear the shade Truffle. In this one, I wear the shade, um, is it three? Yeah, three tan. Three tan is darker than the Westman Atelier one. Just heads up. And this is the shade three tan. It has a really beautiful finish to it. I'm just obsessed with this bronzer. I'm gonna just take a little bit from the back of my hand and we're going to just apply it to the high points of our cheeks here to give it a nice bronzy look. I don't like too much bronzer and I don't like it to be too, too dark. I do like it to kind of look more on the natural side. I don't like to look over bronzed. So I go light handed with it, but if you wanna go with more of a bronzy look, just go a little bit more heavy handed or go with something that's a little bit darker than this if you're my complexion. Um, but for me, this is kind of a, the perfect kind of bronze. Next, I'm gonna take this Patrick Tall brush and just bring the bronzer down the sides of my nose. And what this does is just create a really cohesive look to the nose and it's not really there to do like a full contour, but this this would be a great brush. If you struggle with contour, I highly suggest a, this brush or a brush like this. It's just, it makes, it makes it so easy. And this side blends everything out like a dream. So we're gonna just blend this out. And then I'm also gonna take a little bit and like kind of pull it in to here, to kind of the crease area and just blend it up because I feel like that just gives a really cohesive look to the um, makeup. Now bronze, next we're gonna move on to a cream blush. We have a couple of options. I want it to kind of be a sun-kissed shade. So we have a few options here. We have this one from Colfi. This is their shade, Sandalwood Swirls. It's just so beautiful. And the finish of this is really nice because it's more of a natural finish. So you're not gonna look too, too dewy. Then we have this one from Nude Sticks. I really like this. I've already reviewed this. This also has an SPF, which is really nice. Um, this is the shade Sunkissed, I believe. Sunkissed. And then we have this one from Amicole. And this one, this is the shade Dune. This is just the most beautiful shade. And a lot of you guys also love this. This is a Holy Grail shade. Um, I'm kind of thinking that I'm gonna go with the Coolfee one today. So again, this is Sandalwood Swirls. It kind of reminds me actually of the shade from Amicole in the shade Dune. And we're gonna just take a little bit on the back of our hand. So it's all spread out like this. That way we don't get too much on the brush. And I'm gonna take this brush here. So this is a really good alternative to the Heavenly Lux number no. seven from a cosmetics that I use for my bronzer. And it's just so good. This is from e.l.f. and it's obviously way more affordable than the Heavenly Lux number no. seven. So I'm gonna take a little bit and then kind of dab it off. And then we're just gonna kind of build it up Kind of focus on the cheeks here and then kind of do an oval shape blend, if that makes sense. I don't know, that I feel like that doesn't make any sense, but I like to apply it kind of here and then go in an oval to kind of blend it out. I don't like to start too, too high with my blush because I feel like that just makes it look like you're wearing blush, if that makes sense. Cream blush is on. I don't wanna to go too heavy handed with the cream blush cause we're gonna go on with the powder later. So we don't wanna look over crazy blush. I mean, maybe you do, I don't today. So then next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on with concealer and I'm gonna go on with the Colfi concealer today. And I'm going to just apply a little bit right here and just a touch right here, just a touch, like a little, little dab. And then I've really been liking blending my concealer out with this brush. I've been doing that for maybe the last couple weeks. I accidentally did it because I, I only had this brush with me because of course I packed terribly and I blended my concealer out with this brush and I just really liked how it looked. So we're gonna do this brush here. This is, I'm pretty sure a highlighter brush. It's a Makeup Forever 44, 144 and it is really nice. 
When I first blended it out though with this, it was a little pokey because it's definitely not meant to go under your eyes. But now that I've used it more, it's not really that pokey. So we're just gonna really kind of focus on the areas we need to blend it out in. And I don't wanna apply too much um, concealer. I feel like sometimes that can look a little bit just over concealed and very, very obvious that you're wearing a lot of concealer. And I don't want that look today. I just love how natural this brush makes my under eye concealer look. And I never thought a brush like this would be something I'm grabbing a ton. I mean, I'm still grabbing my Hourglass concealer brush because I love that one. And also my Sephora Pro, I think it's 71 brush, but this one right now is nice. And I don't like wearing a lot of concealer when it's super hot. And today the temperature says 87 feels like 98. When did I move to the surface of the sun? So I like to wear a lot less makeup, like under the eyes and just in general. I do very, very light layers. And this, the way that it blends makes it so that I don't have to put as much under my eyes, if that makes sense. I don't know, I'm obsessed with this. This is a really, really good brush. Anyways, I digress. Now we're gonna move on to a little bit of powder. Now, um, I'm gonna go on with this powder here. We're gonna do two types of powder, and I know that's bananas, but I swear by it, you're gonna look so much better. So this is the Ami Cole setting powder. You know how I feel about this one. This is just a, such a good powder. And if you struggle with powders in general, making you look too powdery, this is definitely one. This like loose one is so nice. So I got like to look, do a little bit at a time, not overdo it. And we're just gonna set our under eyes in our T-zone very lightly. Cause again, we're gonna go on with more powder later. Now that we're set with the loose powder, we're gonna go on with powders for the creams that we applied. And this is how you make your makeup last super long. The key to long lasting makeup and makeup that doesn't look too oily is light layers. And I know that sounds bananas cause you're like, I don't want to do it, but it really is like such an easy step and it, it won't end up looking like makeup when you do it like this. So we're gonna go on with this bronzer here. This is the Victoria Beckham Beauty Bronzer. And I love this, this is so good. And it just melts into the skin. This is the shade 04, I believe. Yeah, 04, I also have the shade three. Um, and they're both beautiful and just melt into the skin like a dream. Now, um, LYS Beauty has a great powder. So does House Lab. So whichever you prefer, House Lab has a lot more shade options and has the same type of powder as this where it just kind of disappears on your face and doesn't look like powder. And that's what we want. We want powders that don't look like powders to make it so that our makeup just looks great all day. So we're gonna go and bronze up the face a little bit. I'm gonna take this powder brush here. This is a 59, I believe. Yeah, 59 from Sephora. Just gonna take a little bit, take a little bit off on the back of my hand because this is pigmented and we're gonna have a very light hand. So I'm gonna hold the back of the brush here and we're going to just, where we applied bronzer, just put the powder on top so that it lasts longer. And we're gonna do the same for the nose bronzer. Now we're gonna go on with a powder blush. I have a few options. I'm kind of thinking I know what I'm gonna go with. I think I might go with Kiss of Pink from um, Bare Minerals. This is just so beautiful. It has a little bit of sheen to it, but it is just such a natural sheen and it's very subtle. This, I love this palette. This is from Cover FX and this is the shade Warm Honey and this is just beautiful, but I feel like it doesn't match the blush I did as much. So we're gonna go with this one here. I'm gonna take this brush, the other side of the brush I use to blend my bronzer and I'm going to take off excess powder and we're just going to kind of lightly tap on. I don't want to make it too blushy because I don't want to, I, I want it to look more on the natural side today, but I do want enough blush that it, it doesn't fade too, too quickly, right? Because blush is always the first thing to fade. I'm loving how the makeup is coming out. And as you can see, you still have glow, you still have dew. It still looks really healthy and glowy, but it's not looking greasy. And I'm in studio lights, it's hot, I'm in a sweater because I don't know why. 
but I like wearing sweaters when, when I film so you can kind of see the color because if not, sometimes when you're filming, it just looks like you're not wearing a shirt. So I like to wear a sweater, but crazy. So I am warm right now and I'm not feeling like I'm getting dewy. So the next we're gonna move on to the eyes. We're gonna do an easy eye look, but we are gonna do a little bit of something. We're gonna go on with this first. So, so this is the Victoria Beckham like contour kind of stick product. And I have the shade Sandstone, I believe in this. Sandstone and let's do a little bit on the back of my hand. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful shade. You can also contour your nose. This makes it so easy to contour your nose. Um, and I'm gonna just do right in the crease a little bit of this. And we're gonna just take a brush and blend it out really easily. This one is from Sigma, I believe. Yeah, Sigma, and this is an E25. I'm just gonna blend this out. This is a little bit more of a smaller brush than I normally go with. Um, I feel like I haven't used this much on camera, even though I've had it for a while, but I do want to control the product a little bit more and I don't want it to go as high up. So using a brush like this is great, but normally I just go with like the Makeup by Ariel um, collab with Morphe because those brushes are just great. But this is a great um, brush. This is, I don't know if I said it, I think it's E25 from Sigma, it's great. All right, we are blended. I'm gonna take this same shade and put it on my lower lash line as well. And then just blend it out with a brush like this. Okay, we are good. I don't know why my eyes look like one side is has less product than the other, because in person it doesn't, but the lighting in the room is making this one of the eyes look a little bit more dark than the others. Next, than the others, than the other. Next, we're gonna go on with this stick here. This is the smoke stick from About Face in the shade Close But No Cigar. This side, the pencil side, the it doesn't move. It is the most long wearing eye pencil, which is amazing. So we're gonna, we're gonna just thicken the um, lash line a touch. We're gonna use a very little bit of product just to add a little bit of depth and just thickness to the lash line. Now, so I'm just gonna take the powder bronzer and I'm going to add it here just to, you know, make sure that everything lasts all day. And I'm gonna do the same with the lower lash line just so it's set in place. Love that. So the next I'm actually going to do a little bit of inner rim lining with this um, Rowan Beauty eyeliner. I really love this eyeliner. It is so good. And this is the shade Shimmering Brown or Brown Shimmering. Okay, Brown Shimmering makes no sense. Shimmering Brown. Now I wanna do just a touch of glow to add to the glowy makeup look. This is not something that you have to do if you don't want, but I'm gonna take this palette here from Rowan Beauty. I just, this is my favorite palette ever. This is the Gold Lust palette. Just look at how beautiful, I just am obsessed with these shades. So I'm actually gonna take this shade here, just a little bit, we're not gonna do too much, and just right in the middle, add just a touch of sheen. So subtle, but it does add, oh, like a little bit of something glow wise. Then we're gonna take this shade here and we're just gonna inner corner highlight. I do love an inner corner highlight. Now before mascara or anything else, we're gonna go on with a pressed powder. Now you don't have to do this. This isn't necessarily a step you have to do. You can also just go on with the loose powder that you use, but I love for super long wearing, super just controlled oil makeup look. I like a loose powder then to set with a, a pressed powder later. We're gonna go on with this one from Westman Atelier, which I love. This is just their translucent shade. And we're gonna take something like this, just like a little triangle puff. And we're gonna dip in, so this is the, if you can see, the powder, dip in, take excess off on the back of your hand, and then just kind of set the under eyes and wherever else you wanna set. And this just really keeps everything looking super oil controlled all day and you don't look super greasy. Now, if this is a, not a powder that you're interested in or you want something different, there's so many great powders out there. And if you want one that really looks like nothing on the skin, like truly, truly nothing, this one looks like truly, truly nothing on the skin. It's great to have in your bag for like oil control throughout the day. But if you want something that is super just 
looks like nothing, just a whisper of nothing on the skin, but really controls oil. This one isn't considered clean, but the Fenty Beauty um, powder that they have is, that one is really nice as well. Um, that is one that I have been recently testing out to just kind of compare other powders to. And that one just is, it's very good. <laughs> that is, and it really looks like nothing on the skin, which is incredible. Now, before moving on to mascara and lips, we're gonna just do a little setting with setting spray. Again, the LYS Beauty setting spray. Should have brought my fan to make this dry a little quicker, but we're gonna wait about a minute, let this kind of dry down, and then we're gonna move on to mascara and the final kind of touches with the lips. Be right back. All right, we're dried down. I'm gonna go on with this mascara from Queen Musia. I've done a entire review on this. I really like this mascara. It's very nice, and it's just, it gives my lashes exactly what they want. It's a very pretty formula. Gives my lashes what they want. Gives me what I want my lashes to look like. All right, so that's one coat on each lash. We're going to kind of, so this mascara is not finicky, but you do want to wait between coats. Like let it dry for a minute, wait between coats. I know that feels annoying, because you just wanna like be done, but it does make a really big difference in terms of how the lashes look. So we're just gonna wait for it to dry, do another coat and do a little bit of bottom lash mascara and move on to the lips. So just give me a minute. All right, it's been about a minute. So I'm gonna do another coat of mascara and then bottom lash and then we're gonna move on to the lips. I just love how that mascara looks. What do you guys think? It's just so pretty. So now we're gonna move on to the lips. We're gonna keep it real easy with the lips today. I'm gonna go on with one of these liners from Jones Art Beauty. We have the shade Rosewood and the shade Cognac. I think I'm gonna go Rosewood today. A little bit more pinky, I feel like will look nice. Maybe we'll do a combo, we'll see. I'm gonna take a touch of Cognac just on the edges. Love those lip liners, so pretty. It's pulling a little bit more pink in the monitor than it is looking in person. My hair looks crazy right now. I need to wash it, cause it's, we're looking insane. I'm gonna go on next with this um, lip oil from Summer Fridays. This is a shade Rosewood Nights, I believe. Oh, my genius, it's Rosewood Nights. And this is a really pretty shade. I'm just gonna do it a little bit. Yeah, that is it for my glowy makeup look without looking oily or greasy or like you just went to a chicken fry. <laughs> this is a really, really nice and easy way to kind of control how oily you look without with still giving. Look at that beautiful dew and that really healthy sheen to the face. And it's not like this area is looking super flat. It's just really, really oil controlled, which is nice. I really love how this makeup comes out every single time I do it. By the end of the day, I'm always so happy. And a lot of the time I don't even go on with a foundation or skin tint or whatever. I just go on with the kind of more glowy kind of base products and then still do the same steps. But I wanted to show it with kind of a foundation or a skin tint or whatever, just so you can kind of see it. But again, I don't always do that. And I'm always so happy by the end of the day with how my makeup is looking. And I'm always feeling like, okay, I look by the, when I look in the mirror, everything is still in place. Makeup is still looking good. Blush is still on. And it looks just great by the end of the day. Like everything, because you did light layers, you did a little bit of powder, you did a little bit of cream. Everything always looks really nice by the time you go to bed, which is nice because then you don't, you really just don't have to worry about looking crazy by the end of the day. And yeah, that's it for this video. That is it for my how to have a glowy makeup look without looking oily or greasy. I would love to know down below. What products do you like to use for a glowy makeup look that doesn't look oily or greasy or what tips do you have? Leave them down below. I love to know your thoughts. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.